Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore, 6725 West Central Avenue. It's Tulio, Ohio, 43617 419 531 Instagram at JC's Comics and More, www.jccomicsandmore.com. Got Chuck, got Joe on the steady cam, ready to count out some new comics for this week. Representing the mighty Lamb of God from Richmond, <clears throat> Virginia. Good, good, good bunch of dudes. Look, air. You got an air mattress so I can sleep later. Sleep the sleep of the damned. Let's see, we got the, this must be coming out next week, I guess. Maybe in two weeks. The Marvel Comics 1000. Ah, uh, Saturday, August 31st. So what that means, what, we're going to have comics for Saturday, August 31st? Uh, we'll see. But it's got some other goodies we're going to have to give away. So i got to try to remember to put those in people's bags this week. Somebody's going to be as happy as a little girl to get his, his Shadow Magazine. Shadow, he's the father of the Punisher. Got the new Riptide Cave Woman. Got a homage to Action Comics number one, and somebody's gonna be very glad to get his copy of that. This is a New book coming out in September for uh, middle grade schools, kids. The Secret Spiral of the Swamp Kid. So we'll see how that is. Got another Bud Root cave woman cover. So he's going to be very happy. Got to love them dinosaurs. Let's see, what do I spy? I see some variant covers for Absolute Carnage Scream. This is the Mark Bagley connecting cover. I must have more than just these. I know I ordered more than just five. Maybe not. Maybe five's all I ordered on that. I see second coming number two. Pull all these second comings out. First issue sold very well. A lot of speculators bought uh, bought on that one. So hopefully they'll continue buying it with this here. It's a great Amanda Connor covers. This is the only cover on this issue. This is helping the Hoy, helping to uh, helping the Hoy make a name for themselves. Issue number 17 of Doctor Strange. Again. This is the only problem with the book. Could move it up there. This is the final part of that Galactus and Doctor Strange and storyline. This has been very good. Looking forward to sitting down and fully reading the rest of this. That's been a really good storyline. The only highlight I can say in the uh, Mark Wade run of Doctor Strange, most of the other stories were forgettable. We've got a variant. This is first issue of Conan Exodus. This is the 70s van art cover. Got a couple of those copies. Ah, here's some more of my absolute carnage screams. Of course, they couldn't put them all together. Here's Sonata, issue number three, cover B. Here's the regular covers on Cavewoman Riptide. So I got two people that get this, so those will get set aside for them. Here we've got, and I know I've got more of these. Of course, there they are. Well, here's another second coming. Number two, of course, that's by itself. And then we've got a whole slew of Silver Surfer Black, the Ron Lim variant, Thor versus Silver Surfer. Very cool. That's been a good series so far. 
Fabric's been a little crazy at times, but it's been a good series thus far. Here's uh, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number 10. I think this only has a couple of issues left on that. It's been okay. Nothing to write home about, but it's been okay. Cover A of James Bond Origin, number 12. That cover A gets set aside for for the, uh, the Shadow Man. He's going to be very happy to get that. Here we've got some copies of Conan the Barbarian Exodus, number one. That's the regular covers. Here we've got Joe Golem, Occult Detective, number four or five. I'm only ordering one copy now. And it's somebody else that was buying it, but they're no longer no longer buying comics, so I'm no longer ordering it. It's one copy, but still eating one copy is more copies than I like to eat. This box, I see the warning, which I need to actually. I already cut back on that because that same person is no longer buying. I see Gwenpool, I see Sharky, and I see Catwoman. I think that's an art germ cover, maybe. Warning number 10. Again, that gets set aside for one person. Now this right here, My Little Pony, Spirit of the Forest. Let me buy one copy of that. I know it's going to take a while to sell that, but that's okay. I want that copy when that parent comes in there with their, little, their daughter that wants to buy that. Issue number 4, Star Trek Year 5. Vote for Spock. Make sure I've got copies of that set aside for some of my customers. Yes, these are the Art Germ Catwoman covers. Let me grab the other ones from the other side since we couldn't put all those together. And this is Catwoman based on Batman the Animated Series. She was a blonde in that. Because blonde Catwoman have more fun. Gonna take this real quick. This is probably another robo call, so we'll we'll have fun with that. Let's see if it's a robo call. JC's. JC's. Hello, JC's. Hello. See, they don't want to speak to me. Here's a Powers of X number two. This is the connecting cover. Last week had the connecting cover of all the female characters. So another very cool cover. From Power and that robocall hung up. And let's see, we have new Critical Role Vox Machian Machina. But I see this copy here is damaged. Every once in a while, you'll, you'll have one with a, a staple like that. So I'll have to get a replacement copy on that one there. Disappointing to see that. But the other copies are okay, so they'll be available for sale. Here we've got the new Age of Conan, Valerina. Very cool looking cover. I'm not putting much faith into the book itself. Marvel decided to send us out double whatever we ordered. So that was nice on their part. Try to, they try to keep those sales up. By cooking the books. Batman Universe number two. <clears throat> Got Batman and Green Arrow on the front. Pretty sure this is a reprint that showed up in Walmart uh, earlier this year. Or late last year. Or something like that. I see a big Godzilla hard or trade paperback here. Godzilla, Rulers of the Earth, Volume 2. Big thick book. 30 bucks. You're paying, you pay 30 bucks for this, this big, thick Godzilla book. I wish I'd tell you how many pages is in this thing, but this is a big, thick Godzilla book for 30 bucks. A bargain. <clears throat> Got the rest of the Batman Universe covers there. Got Hit Girl. This is cover A, I believe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cover A of Hit Girl. The Orville number two. Could be some very happy people to get their hands on the Orville number two. 
So make sure I set a couple of those copies aside for those individuals. Here we've got, speaking of number twos, Clapser number two. We'll see how this sells. First issue sold okay. You know, not great. Sold okay. I see Yusagi Jumbo number three is in here as well. Let's see Silver Surfer Prodigal Sun. The Prodigal Sun. This is the cover B on that. First part was in Fantastic Four about a month ago. It's hopefully people still are interested in that story. Here we've got Wonder Woman number 76. <clears throat> Year of the Villain, The Dark Gifts. Cover A on that. <clears throat> Captain Marvel number 9. We've got the number 9's there. Make sure a copy gets set aside for my poll customers. Be some happy people tomorrow looking for that book. Sharky, both the Sharkies, this group of Sharkies, and whatever else is in this stack here. This is cover. This is cover C on this. McNiven after Todd McFarlane. Don't really remember that McFarlane cover. I'll take his word for it. Star Wars, <clears throat> Target Vader, number two. A couple of Star Wars fans. Make sure their copies are set aside for them. Hit Girl, cover C. Hit Girl doesn't sell very well any longer, so we no longer order heavily on it. Order strictly to sell out of it. Daniel Way, Mark Millard no longer sees it worth his time writing it, so there's, there's no use really ordering heavily on it. Red Sonja number seven, cover D on that. Here's uh, this is from Humanoids, <clears throat> the Omni number one. Make sure a copy of that gets set aside for one of my polls. Here's Loki number two. You have Sharky, cover A of Sharky. Again, unfortunately that does not sell very well these days. A lot of the Mark Millar books just don't sell like they used to. I think Mark Millar has come went back to the, well, one too many times, thinking his name is going to carry anything. Here's the bigger bring on the bad guys cover for Amazing Spider-Man number 27. Spidey versus the Molten Man. Molten Man is a pretty cool villain, the son of Liz, or the uh, brother of Liz Allen. Just League Odyssey number 12. This is the cover B on that. <clears throat> I do have more copies down here. Let's see what else is in this box here. I see it looks like the. Well, this is the Symbiote Spider-Man number five. I see that in the box. There's more copies of that. Just League Odyssey number 12. I see Ghosted in LA number two. Down to order one copy. I ordered uh, two of number one. Sold one. Cut it back immediately. No longer going to give these things a chance. They don't sell. They're done. Here's Captain Marvel 9. To bring on the bad guy's cover. Doctor Strange. Here's the Carnage Eyes cover of Doctor Strange with Klee being Carnage Eyes. Miles Rao Spider Man. This is one of the 80th uh, anniversary frame covers. Got that right there. Punk Mamba. Issue number five. Cover B. 
So, got to find our cover A shit. Here's the only copy I order of Ironheart, issue number nine. It goes for one of my poll customers. Nobody else even asks for the book. So, that certainly says something right there. Red Sonia, number seven, cover C. So we've got C and D. Bolivia Sun, issue number 18. Make sure a copy of that gets set aside for one of my polls. Here's Symbiote Spider-Man, number five. This isn't a bad story, but I hate when they try to go back and fill in stuff that didn't happen. It would be nice if this would have happened the first time around. Revisionist History. Greg Land cover. I think Greg Land did the inside artwork. And he did. Black Cat's in this. As you can see, yes, she is. So the worst thing about this book is Mysterio doesn't look like doesn't look like uh, when he takes the helmet off, doesn't look like who Mysterio should be. He does not look, look like uh, Quentin whatsoever. Which is too bad. <clears throat> Gwenpool! Gwenpool Strikes Back! This is the variant cover on Gwenpool Strikes Back. I put zero faith into that book. It didn't sell when it was coming out before. Cover E of James Bond Origin. Number 12. Here we've got Batman and the Outsiders, number four. We've got Ray's Al Ghul on the front. And that's the cover A. Got The Watcher. This is issue one. It's cover B from Xenoscope. Again, I've got one guy that buys Xenoscope books, so I make sure that gets set aside for him. So we've got Flash number 76. Let's see, we've got cover A right here. The Frozen Fury of Captain Cold. This has been a good book. If you've not been reading The Flash, you're missing out. Flash is a really good book. Let's see, we've got some more powers of X2. We've got the character covers. This is... The Beast through the years. How about we bring the Beast back looking like he did here. Much cooler. At least they changed him from uh, from his, his cat face. But he's still not as cool as he was back in the day there. The promo diamond bookshelf. Gives me a chance to check out some of the uh, some different uh, sale tie-ins that they're doing. <clears throat> Here we got Miles Morales, Spider-Man number nine. This is the regular cover of that. This book has been very good as well. So if you need to pick up a good book, pick up uh, pick up Miles Morales. Got Sword Daughter, cover A, issue number eight of Sword Daughter. I believe this is the new character variant for Powers of X number two. So you've got Nightcrawler's son merged with whoever Nightcrawler decided to share his DNA with. Venom number 16. This is the second printing of Venom number 16. It's the only copy I've got of that, so... Got Gideon Falls number 16. Cover A of Gideon Falls number 16. Got Black Hammer Justice League issue number 2. This is cover B. There's multiple, multiple covers on this. I think there's at least five covers, but that's cover B. Gargantuan issue number 3. 
<clears throat> three or four, like big monsters. There you go. Analog number seven, cover B of analog number seven, Spider Man the Haunted, trade paperback. This is $40. You saw the Godzilla earlier, that was $30. Look at you can see there's quite a difference. And if you're you're up in Canada, those poor those poor people up there, fifty-two dollars. Fifty-two dollars for this. Go out and buy the original copies. You'll save yourself the money, Canada. Canada is getting the short end of the stick. Unnatural. <clears throat> Cover B. Issue number twelve of, of Piggy Piggy Piggy. Gideon Falls, issue 16. This is cover B of Gideon Falls. Set that aside for one of my poll customers. I see Flash, 76 cover Bs. He's trapped in a uh, snow globe. Catwoman number 14. This is the cover A's. Remember the cover B's were the art germ. Um, Catwoman the animated series. The blonde Catwoman. Hot blonde cat, Catwoman. Here's the Scotty Young Red Night Crawlers. Red Crawlers. So we got Usagi Jimbo number sixes or number threes. We got a couple of customers that want those, so I'll make sure those are set aside for them. We've got Unbeatable Squirrel Girl number 47. Number 47. Can you believe that a Marvel comic is up to nearly 50 copies? I'll make sure that copy is set aside for somebody. Here's the cover A's of Silver Surfer, the Prodigal Son. That's a really nice cover on that book. Neon Future number number six. Sharky cover B. I didn't think I ordered any of those Sharky cover Bs, but I guess I did. Punisher Kill Crew issue one. Frank is going after demons now. That's not who Frank is. He, he ain't no Frank Frazetta ripoff. Conan, Exodus, let's bring on the bad guys cover. This is a, I believe, a Nick Bradshaw cover for issue number one. We've got Sandman Universe, House of Whispers, number 12. Again, make sure I've got that set aside for one of my customers. Analog number seven, cover A, that gets set aside for a customer. Go, go, Power Rangers, number 22. This is cover A on that, and that's getting set aside for one of my customers. And just a few more comics in here. And of course, if you do like these videos, please subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell for notification, and be sure to share on whatever social media outlets you have. Here's Star Wars Adventures Annual for 2019. Make sure a copy that gets set aside for a customer, the other copy goes out. Here's uh, Gwenpool Strikes Back. Issue 1, Terry Dotson cover. Before we show that, well, look. Gosh, didn't I have this cover, this cover C elsewhere in this video? Look, this was the very last book. Again, I harp about micromanaging, but it's easy to harp when it's true. Two copies. You can't even have all, both copies together in the same spot. Really, can't even have both copies together in the same spot. I see these Gwenpool Strikes Back. Again, the Terry Dotson covers. I see we have some damaged copies also. So, I'll have to check the rest of these to see if they're damaged. And, you can see that, oh yes, yes they certainly are. So, it looks like half of them are damaged. 
But as always, if you do like these videos, certainly subscribe. And you do subscribe, be sure to smash that bell for notifications. And be sure to share, share, share on whatever social media outlets that you have. And other than that, thanks again for watching. Next video is coming up soon. Thank you.